Hey guys, it's Gabby and welcome back to my channel. So we're gonna dive right into today's video. So I'm gonna take my black tail comb and I'm just gonna create a part straight down the middle of my head, like you see here. All right, and I'm also gonna create a part both on the left and the right side. And this is just gonna add as the base for my two ponytails that I'm gonna have up top. All right, now if you know me, then you know that when I am creating a part, I am not striving for perfection. Um, so I might have, it might, I might not have the story this part, but we're gonna go ahead and it's all gonna come together in the end. So I'm just gonna repeat this same step on the other side. All right, so we're just gonna part it straight down. And I swear this part is identical to the other side <laughs> with that little bump in the um, in the parting space. But nonetheless, we're going to go ahead and just continue to go with the flow like always. And then we're just going to pin that up and focus on the back portion. Okay, so when it comes to the back of my hair, I like to use my hands and my hands only to create the parts in the back. And I've mentioned this in previous videos and I'm gonna tell you exactly why in just a moment. So as you can see, I'm using these two clips to clip out the remaining hair so that I can focus on braiding down this section. So basically, I've just eliminated using a comb for all of my crochet installs. So anytime you've seen a crochet install on my YouTube channel, I have only used my hands to create the parts in the back. One, it just slashes the um, time it takes for me to braid my hair down in the back in half and two it just minimizes tangle and the hassle of having to use a comb to actually um, create a straight part in the back that nobody is going to see at the end of the day all right so I'm just gonna continue to use what works best for me and you know if you are able to use a comb without damaging your hair then definitely do so but this is what works best for me all right, so I'm gonna show you this technique again on a, another section here. So as you can see, I'm just using my fingers to create that part in the back. And I'm just gonna use those clips to clip away the rest of the hair so I can focus on braiding down this section once again. And I'm just gonna start to braid it down. All right, now I've adopted this technique, um, I believe very early in my uh, natural hair journey of just using my hands to maneuver through my hairstyles and not focusing so much on perfection, but focusing on making sure that my end result is exactly what I want it to be. All right, and I'm just gonna go ahead and continue to add the ends of my hair in that braided section as I continue to go, like you just seen me do a moment ago. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just start the process on the other side as well. Um, I like for my braids to go in towards the middle and for me to have uh, the finished result of my braid pattern be towards the middle of my hair. And I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm talking about. So I'm just gonna bury down this section here first. So I adopted this technique when my hair was a lot longer. Now that my hair is shorter, I could just take it straight across. However, I just like to do what works best for me. And with this middle section, I'm just gonna take it straight down the middle and include both the left and the right sections within that middle section and just braid it straight down. All right, now once I'm done braiding that braid all the way down the middle, I'm gonna go ahead and off camera, take my crochet needle and weave it through the middle of the braid. All right, so then this is the finished result here. So as you can see, everything is camouflaged everything is flat and everything is ready for the actual crochet hair Now in my previous video, I used this exact same hair and this is just a single strand from the pack. So if you want more details, just refer to my last video for the exact brand of hair. All right, so as we continue with this install, I'm gonna focus on just, you know, doing the normal crochet method, which is inserting the crochet needle in like this. And then I'm gonna grab a strand from my package here and we're just gonna hook it onto the crochet hook. All right, and just pull it through at the end. All right, and then just continue to pull it through and lock it in. 
And so this is the same technique that I'm gonna continue to use throughout this back section. And this is just a basic crochet technique. Once I'm done crocheting the back of my hair, I'm just gonna focus on the front section. Okay, so now it's time to manipulate the front section of my hair. So now I'm just trying to figure out how I wanna start this process. But first, let me go ahead and just secure one section out of the way, and I'm just gonna focus on the remaining section. So I'm gonna start off with adding a new edge control, which I purchased on Amazon. It is the Edge Booster. Now I've seen it all over Instagram, all over Facebook. So I decided, let me go ahead and see what all the hype is about and give this edge control a try. All right, so off the bat, I'm just gonna go ahead and open up the bottle just so you can see the glimpse of the inside of this container. And so it's a really nice thick product and I feel that it's gonna work really, really great um, for my natural hair journey going forward if I'm looking to lay my edges. All right, so this is again, the first time that I am ever applying this product and off the bat, I am honestly really, really excited about this product and the application. It has a really, really nice shine. It's really, really sleek and it has a really strong hold. So this, that, this product is definitely really, really good. And you know, I think it's gonna be a staple product in my regimen going forward. So I wouldn't be surprised if you see this product in the future. Um, now during the application process, what I did notice is that this product does dry fairly quickly, um, especially if you're applying it to dry hair like I am doing here. Um, now you're gonna see in just a moment, um, because I realized that this product dries a lot quicker on dry hair, I did go ahead and use some of my coconut oil that is a staple product in my regimen, and I just used that just to loosen up the product a little bit and allow me to smooth it through. All right, so for right now, I'm just gonna continue to apply this product in between the sections and all through this section of hair to make sure that it is nice and sleek. All right, and then once I gather up all of the hair, <laughs> I'm just gonna brush it through. All right, and this was the part where I was like, okay, maybe it might need just a little bit more slip and it dried just a little quickly for me. So I'm gonna now take my coconut oil, all right, and just add a little bit to my fingers. And I'm just gonna massage that all through the hair. And that just gave me the additional slip that I needed to go ahead and brush it through into a nice sleek bun. All right, so just continue to work that product in. And then in just a moment, you'll see me take my brush to smooth it through. And then I'm just gonna apply a scrunchie to secure the section. All right, so now that I'm done with that section, I'm just gonna repeat this process on the other side, and this is the finished result. So now that I'm done with both sections, it's time to go ahead and lay my baby hairs just a little bit. So again, I'm taking that same edge booster and I'm applying it on both the left and the right side, and I'm just gonna take my edge comb and just start to smooth it through. Um, now I am going a lot slower than you see here just to make sure that I'm protecting my edges and to make sure that I'm smoothing the product the right way so I'm just gonna continue to smooth the product till I get to my desired style and I'm gonna go ahead and complete that process on the other side as well now for me honestly this product is working really really well and I'm excited to see how it's gonna work once I actually apply my wrap to my hair and leave it on for about 15 to 20 minutes all right, so here I'm just applying my wrap, all right? And I'm gonna leave this on, like I mentioned, for about 15 or 20 minutes. Um, typically, I leave it on for longer, but I really wanna see how this product um, holds up within that time frame because that's typically the allotted time that I have for most of my edge applications. All right, so while I'm waiting on my edges to dry, I'm gonna go ahead and take a single strand of hair like you see here, and I'm gonna unravel the bottom first and just pull both of the bottom strands straight apart and this is going to unravel the rest of the strand and I'm left with this curly look here. 
All right, and once I've unraveled about five or six strands, I'm gonna go ahead and just take each strand and insert it directly into that ponytail holder that is holding up each of my puffs. And we're just gonna add, uh, again, about five or six strands to the puff and then just wrap it around. All right, now this technique is just really great for just a quick hairstyle that you're looking to do uh, for the weekend, just for about maybe two or three days. Um, honestly, it's not meant to be kept up for maybe you know a week to two weeks, just a really quick hairstyle you can do anytime you're just looking to switch up your style or you're just looking for something new. I would definitely recommend this technique to you guys. Um, if you are looking to have a install in for a longer period of time, then maybe you might wanna try a different technique when it comes to installing the uh, ponytails onto the hair. Um, but this is a technique that I use for me and it definitely lasted about two or three days. So what you do to one side, you do to the other side. So this is a look at the second section. All right, and now it's just time to remove the head wrap. So I've already went off camera and did my makeup and this is how my edges look. Honestly, I am not surprised at how this edge control performed on my natural 4C hair. It has my edges laid, sleek, really nice sheen and shine. I absolutely love it. And I also love that I can combine it with another staple product, which is my coconut oil, which I always have on hand. So yeah, this is the finished result. I hope you guys really, really like this. Again, this hair is 24 inches. It's really, really long and I thought about unraveling the twist but I just decided against it just because I like the style the way it is right here so again let me know what you guys think if you love this style let me know in the comment section below and I will see you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching bye guys